Hi, this is Charlie with Only PVC Pyramids. Thank you for watching. Today's uh, uh, video is a continuation of the study that we're doing into the sacred geometry of Russian pyramids. I've got a lot of new information to provide uh, to you, but I'm going to want to go back and, and uh, go over some of the other things that we've talked about in the previous video to bring those of you who have not seen that previous video up to speed. Uh, the title of today's video is Sacred Geometry, Russian Pyramids, and Their Relationship to the Giza Pyramid. We're really starting to find some, some interesting stuff here, and so that's why I want to go back and bring everybody up to speed. This one will be a little bit longer because i got a lot of stuff to cover today. Uh, the first uh, slide up on the screen, this is something that when I first started working on this about uh, uh, two years ago, uh, was the only thing I could find in image form on uh, the internet about uh, the geometry of Russian pyramids, and it shows a height to base length ratio of 2.02. And I kind of from there, in one article that was on uh, GizaPyramid.com, uh, you know, I built my pyramids based upon that ratio. And as I talked about in the previous video, I've never been able to, uh, nor has anyone else for that matter, uh, been able to accurately describe the, uh, the sacred geometry, many people have mistakenly uh, said that uh, the slant angles of these pyramids are somewhere at around 73 degrees, which is actually uh, the slant angle of a so-called Nubian pyramid, which has a ratio of height to base length of 1.618 to 1. So we knew that that was not the case. And uh, Again, to review from that previous uh, uh, video from last time, I was reading some research from uh, Anatoly Akimov, a uh, Russian physicist, and the work that he had done with cones and pyramids. And he found that with respect to a cone, which is really just a pyramid with an infinite number of sides to it, uh, that a cone uh, worked best as a, a passive uh, torsion generator when it was in a phi ratio. Well, that got me thinking, and I hate to bore people who've seen this before, but I visualized that because they talked about it as a cone, but I started to think about this as a series of stacked spheres uh, with declining phi ratios, and I wondered what sort of a geometry I would get by doing that. And so I set to doing that, uh, did the, the math, and that's what we're gonna show here in a minute, on GeoGebra, uh, the slant angle that was available that came about as a result of that was 76.345 degrees. Now the slant angle that you get from the 2.02 to 1 ratio is 76.1 degrees, which is about 0.245 uh, different. Uh, the ratio uh, that I got it of, of height to base length is 2.05, not 2.02. .02. So there was a slight disparity. I had discussed this in the context of uh, uh, the fact that when you deal in a, in a uh, theoretical construct of, of geometry where you have points, lines that have no dimension, no width, no depth, no height, no space, uh, that when you go and build something in the real world, uh, the dimensions are going to change because of the height, depth, width, and so forth of the building materials that you have. And that is a partial explanation. But one of the things that I did find out just yesterday, which I think is fascinating as well, uh, most of the pictures and all of the pictures until yesterday that I had seen of Russian pyramids were all from a, a distance. And so it was real hard to see the tops of the pyramids themselves. Well, I was going, in, in anticipation of a phone call I had yesterday morning, I was going through the work of John DeSalvo and his Complete Pyramid source book. And in that book are pictures of, close up, of many of the pyramids that Dr. Golod actually built in Russia. And what a surprise, I'm putting this up now. I took a blow up of one of those pictures and it's a little fuzzy, but I wanted to zoom in on it so you could see the top of that pyramid isn't there. It, it's, it's locked off a few feet before the very top and there is no point to the tip like there would be in, in a theoretical geometric pyramid, uh, which uh, we were working with to figure out the sacred geometry of 2.05. Uh, 
So further proof here that the 2.02, if you were to go ahead and, and make that uh, pyramid and, and, and figure out the height all the way up to the tip, I can almost guarantee you that it would be uh, uh, the, the 2.05 ratio that we're going to talk about. So again, uh, further proof. Here's one more picture. This is actually from inside the uh, uh, 44 meter uh, pyramid that was built outside Moscow. It, this is looking straight up. You can see that there's a hole in that top of that pyramid as well. So once again, this pyramid has been lopped off at the top. And I think that that is the difference for the dimensions. And I'm going to show you further proof of why I think that's true later in this uh, video. But now to move on to uh, the information that I wanted to provide you today. Uh, as I said, the 2.02 to 1 uh, ratio uh, that we got was very close to what I got um, uh, when I did the sacred geometry study. But I wanted to give you first the proof of that. Uh, the slide that I have up now is the one that I showed on the original video um, and it had a, a height of 2.62 and a, a base length of 1.27. Now actually, uh, when we go to the next page now, you're going to find out that uh, that was uh, rounded to uh, the fact, due to the fact that uh, this summary page that I had to print couldn't give you the level of detail that's actually in the GeoGebra file. So as we go to this next page, you're going to see I've got a link here to the uh, actual GeoGebra file. And what we've done here is to take all of this information and take it out to three significant digits, which is what the actual uh, file will do for you. Uh, as I said before in the previous video, uh, this file, when you go to click on it, it's open to the public. You can, uh, and the link to it is in the uh, comments section down below this video. Uh, you'll find that uh, rather than 1.27 being the height, uh, that the height of the pyramid is actually 1. Point, excuse me, is 2.618 rather than 2.62. Forgive me. And the base length, rather than being 1.27, is actually 1.272. So go in at your uh, leisure, check that out. But uh, that's verifiable now, and um, uh, that results in a ratio of height to base length of 2.058761 and a slant angle of 76.345. Uh, you go down further on that page, you'll see something that's called a link to calculate the slant angle. This is uh, also on my website, but uh, this is a, uh, a free uh, service where you can go and figure any sort of calculation that you want to with respect to pyramid angles. And so on the next page here, I've got that information up. What I have to, what you have to do when you're uh, using this is to uh, tell it how many sides you want. We put in four and then a base length and a height. So I just put in a base length of 10 to make the math simple. And then I multiply the 2.058761 by 10 and came up with a height of 20.581761. So if you go down, uh, you get all the various volumes, base areas, and so forth, uh, according to the geometry of that pyramid that we put in. But if you go down to the bottom, you'll see that there's a slant angle of 76.345. So this is a proof uh, out to three significant digits as to the slant angle of this uh, pyramid. So I hope this information is helpful. And that's basically where we ended at the last um, at the last discussion. But now I want to bring some further information to light. Uh, one thing I'd like to, to admit uh, to right now, I put out a second video last week where I was uh, talking about the fact that this information correlated perfectly with the law of one material. And, you know, I'm so grateful to the person who, who wrote in because I figured that everyone in the world was talking with, about the same angles when they talked about pyramids, meaning the slant angle, because that's what I had seen. But as it turns out, someone who knew the law of one material, certainly better than I did, pointed out to me 
that the 76.345 degrees angle that I thought was the slant angle is actually what's called the apex angle, which is the angle made at the top of the pyramid. And I thought about that all of a sudden, and I said, well, I wonder what the apex angle of a Giza pyramid is. And sure enough, here's where the world is taking us. Uh, as you see on the next page, this is a simp simplistic drawing of the Giza pyramid uh, with the uh, proper phi ratios, uh, with the uh, hypotenuse being phi, uh, the, the height being the square root of phi, and the base being one. And when you draw that Giza pyramid, you get a slant angle of 76.345 degrees. I don't think it's a coincidence that the slant angle of the Russian pyramid is identical to the apical or apex angle of the Giza pyramid. But I'm excited about this. I wanted to get this out to you. I'm obviously going to be doing some more thinking about this. But if there are people out there who now who they un can understand this and, and have some thoughts on it, please uh, give me a ring. I'll be happy to talk to anyone who's got some good ideas. I have some ideas and I'm going to be researching this over the next uh, couple of days. And as soon as I have some, some further breakthroughs in this, uh, I'm going to let you know. But clearly, sacred geometry here is uh, being identified and it works with both the Giza and the Russian geometry pyramid, which tells me, as uh, uh, I had expected, that this is uh, a truly highly evolved form of, uh, of sacred geometry that we're dealing with here with the Russian pyramids. More to come, uh, and I'll be back to you as soon as I have more to report. But this is pretty exciting news as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to be certainly bringing this all together out uh, in L.A. at the Conscious Life Expo. Uh, but if any of you have any further thoughts, please give me a call. As always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel uh, and like our videos. If, and tell your friends to uh, come and uh, join the party. Thank you for watching and have a great day.